Hi everyone, uh, this is Ken from Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and I wanted to make a short video on uh, how to install the drivers and get the uh, Starship Autoguider Pro Mono up and running on Windows 10. Um, I'm using Windows 10 Home. This is the current build as of the beginning of July 2021. Um, I'm forgetting now, is it 20H1 or 21H1? Uh, anyways, uh, in the um, Windows update, it's it, I've got all the latest updates for Windows 10. Um, and this uh, camera does work on all versions of Windows 10. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, go to the main page for the Starshoot Autogator Pro. This is number uh, 52031. And right underneath the uh, thumbnail images here is a link to product manuals. And on the right side of the page, you'll see several downloads. Uh, there's a couple things you'll need. First, the, SS, or the SAG Pro driver. This is the main Windows driver for the camera. So you definitely need that. So click download. Uh, you'll also need the ASCOM platform and ASCOM driver. Now the ASCOM driver is right here, SAG Pro ASCOM driver. So click that. You need that one as well. And then uh, before you can install that, you need the Windows platform itself. Um, and take it from me, do not try to install the driver first, the, the, the ASCOM driver first, because Windows won't know where to put it. And you, you'd expect to get like a, an error message that just says, hey, can't find the right uh, directory, please install the, the ASCOM platform first. No, you get this really ominous error message about uh, this, is, this indicates a serious uh, installation problem for your ASCOM platform. So... Uh, it's nothing to worry about. You just need to get the ASCOM platform first before you install the driver. And we uh, have probably been a little bit confusing about this in the past, and I apologize about that. Uh, it, it, right here, where is it? Right here, ASCOM platform 6.1. That's an old version of the dri of the um, of the ASCOM uh, install file. Um, by the time you see this video, I'm hoping that will be deleted. Um, Oops, well, I just downloaded it, so just ignore that. Um, but right here, I had our internet department put up this link, Current ASCOM Platform Download. If you click on that, it will always give you the latest version because it takes you to a new tab uh, to the ASCOM website. So this is ascom-standards.org. And on the right side of the page right here, Platform 6.5 Service Pack 1. That's, as of now, the current release. So you'll want to download that. Uh, um, I'm not going to do that because I actually already have um, the ASCOM platform uh, installed. So I will kill that. So, okay, so you've got the Windows driver, you've got the ASCOM driver, and then you've clicked uh, up here and downloaded the um, ASCOM platform. So in this video, just ignore this 6.1. That is a very old version, and I'm sorry if that's caused any uh, confusion. So here are the ones, and I don't need this one. Let's see. So I'm going to go, let me just show all. Uh, I don't need that. Okay. So let's install the um, Windows driver. And by the way, you have not plugged in the camera yet. This is all done before you plug in the camera. Uh, and I'm sorry, I believe when I just did that, it blanked my screen out because it asked if I was sure to install that. So here we are again. So this is the uh, Windows driver for it. So you click OK. Just put it wherever it wants it to go and click install. All right, that one's done. Now the uh, SSAG Pro ASCOM driver, let's do that. And again, I believe my screen is blanking. Let's get back to it. There we go. Okay, so yes, install that. And because I had the platform installed first, it knew where to put it. All right, so we're good to go there. Uh, now it is time to plug in your camera. And actually, first I'm going to go to the device manager so you can see it installed here. So let me plug it in and give it a second. It has to think about it and then install it. Um, there we go. It puts it under Imaging Devices, SSAG Pro, right there. Okay. Um, now let's go back here. There's AstroCap, which is the native program that comes with the uh, camera. Um, usually you're not using that. Usually you're using PhD guiding. But um, if you want to just check that the thing is actually working, let's uh, AstroCap. Let's just go to AstroCap. Again, my screen blanked. Apologies for that. Uh, okay, so here's AstroCap. Click on Camera, SS, SAG Pro, and click a resolution. And there we go. Now it's streaming pretty fast frame rates. Let me unplug the cap just to show you just slightly. There we go. 
So, okay, I don't have this attached to a telescope, so it's not going to show an actual image, but you can see there's light in my room that's, that it's registering. So, great, the camera is working, Windows recognizes it, um, and you're ready to go to PhD Guide. So let's kill that, exit this. Now, on our website, there's also downloads for PhD Guiding, and as of about a week ago, at least for this recording, 2.6.9 was the current version. Uh, but there actually is a new version. It's 2.6.10. So I believe very shortly we're going to have another link that will probably say current PhD um, download. And that will take you to PhD's website, PhD2's website, uh, where you can download the latest. And I'm very excited about PhD 2.6.10. Um, it introduces multi-star guiding, which is going to improve your guiding performance because it analyzes several stars in the image, not just the main one that uh, your, your camera has picked. So let's go to PhD... Two, and you can see here I've got 2.6.10. I've got the latest one. So then you click on Connect Camera, and well, I've already picked it here because I did this once before to practice. Um, but you get a, a whole list here, and you go down to CMOS SSAG Pro Camera, uh, parentheses ASCOM. That is the proper ASCOM choice or the proper choice, I should say, in PhD to connect to this camera. There's a bunch of other I mean, there's a ton of choices here. Some may, you may have, some you may not. Uh, but there's Starshoot Autoguider, Starshoot. Those are different cameras. Uh, some of them are older cameras. Some of them are current ones just that are, you know, just titled a little differently. But the proper one for the uh, 52031 SSAG Pro is this one right here, CMOS SAG Pro Camera ASCOM. Uh, and then you'll click, uh, most likely if you're using the um, Autoguider port with that little phone jack style cable that comes with the, uh, camera you'll be using on camera. So you connect, click connect, and it pulled me out of it. Let's go back to it. Click connect. Also, uh, I don't have it actually connected, but I think it will work. Uh, yeah, so connect there. And all right, they're both connected. Click close, and then you can start cycling images. Let's say, how about one second? Usually, I think you'd probably do two to four seconds, but just to practice here. Uh, there we go. Now it's cycling downloads, uh, cycling images. The cap is on, so it's really just seeing the background noise and stretching it high. So you can see it, but let me pull the cap off slightly. It'll really quickly overexpose. Um, yeah, it's really overexposing here. So there we go. There's, there's one second downloads with the cap just cracked ever so slightly to show that there's light coming in. Um, and there you have it. So uh, it's connected to Windows 10. You're using the ASCOM driver. You're using P the latest version of PhD guiding. Uh, and again, just make sure you get the latest version. So that's uh, um, currently ASCOM 6.5 SP1 and PhD 2.6.10. Uh, uh, 2 All right. Thank you very much. Clear skies.